Hi, uh, welcome to the first part of my uh, SysLogNG tutorial series. In this part I give you a quick introduction to what to expect uh, from this series and try to define what SysLogNG is. Before introducing you to SysLogNG, let me introduce myself in a few words. I'm Peter Zonik from Hungary, SysLogNG user for about two decades. I work as an open source evangelist at One Identity, the company behind SysLogNG. I do SyslogNG packaging, support, and advocacy. SyslogNG was originally developed by Bellabit, which is now part of One Identity. I, part to, uh, I plan to release parts of my tutorial uh, around every week. Of course, the Christmas holidays and the upcoming conference season may cause some uh, delays. Each part will be released as a blog accompanied by a video. It's up to you which version you follow. However, even if you go with the video, it's worth visiting the blog, you will be able to copy and paste configuration samples from there. Basic Linux or Unix administration knowledge is important, but prior no knowledge about locking and syslogng is not necessary to be able to follow the tutorials. The examples expect that you use a systemd-based Linux distribution to run syslogng as close to 90% uh, of our users run syslogng in such an environment. However, um, the syslogng concepts are the same everywhere and it's easy to uh, adopt examples to FreeBSD or any other operating systems. Saying that uh, this tutorial is syslogng from zero to hero would be uh, a bit of overstatement. We start with some basic concepts and what you uh, use syslogng for. Once you are also familiar uh, with the four major roles of syslogng, we talk a bit about syslogng additions and installation. With syslogng installed, you can start to configure and test syslogng. First, we get to know the various parts of the configuration and looking to files. Then we also learn about network logging. The next steps are filters and parsers. Finally, we store parsed and filtered logs to Elasticsearch. You need at least SysLogNG 3.23 to follow this tutorial. Some examples will require SysLogNG version 4 or at least 3.37, which can uh, be used also in uh, version 4 mode. Installing Elasticsearch or OpenSearch is optional, but of course helps you to see your logs on a graphical user interface. So, what is SysLogNG? Before we define that, we should define what logging is. When it is uh, not about forestry, but IT, logging is a recording of, of events on a computer. The event uh, could be anything, a new IP address through DHCP, a failing hard drive, or a user logging th in through SSH. Here is an example for the last one. Depending on your host, you can find many similar log messages under the word log directory. I define syslogng as an enhanced logging, logging daemon with a strong focus on portability and, and high, performant, high performance central log collection. Originally developed in C, but it can also be extended in Python. So, what is next? I will explain the previous sentence about SysLogNG in depth, and then we will learn about the four major roles of SysLogNG.